Implicit in prayer is an acknowledgement of our smallness, is there not? I don't mean just our smallness as a human being, that we're merely human, which we're not, or that we're full of human frailty and failure. Those things may be present, but I'm not speaking to that alone. We are here alive, here in this space, together with a vast pattern of being, the vast reality of God, we could call it, the almightiness of God. And so in prayer, we open up to that vastness, chorus of voices, of angels, We open to the larger configuration of being that we are a part of here on planet Earth, acknowledging the one spirit of all of humanity, the one true spirit, and how that spirit constellates in being not just being everywhere, but being here for this project Earth for us as humankind, acknowledging that there is a spirit to us. How would you name it? The spirit of humankind. the spirit of the one Christ. It's a lot different than the spirit of Christianity. That's not what I'm speaking of. But if we were to give it a name, there would be a name. We have the pattern of being. There's the not quite physically here, part of all that, but nonetheless present. Present related to us particularly. So in prayer, we're getting in touch with the reality of being that is there for us. Maybe someplace the other side of the universe there's a reality of being that is there and in some sense present that we're related to and a part of. But there is that reality of being, the family of God that is there for, for us specifically, that we are a part of specifically in this project. There is the focus of love and the pattern of being that is there for us 